Hey guys, it's Sia and this week I want to talk to you about a trading opportunity on the Aussie New Zealand uh, basically to showcase to you uh, two patterns and how you can get involved in them for what's called a back-to-back -back trading opportunity using harmonic patterns so sit back relax grab a coffee Now, as you can see okay, in front of you, uh, we have the Aussie, New, Ze Aussie uh, New Zealand on the 15 minute time frame. And basically this in essence is a day trading opportunity that one can get involved in. Now, the, <clears throat> the first pattern I wanna talk to you about is the bad. Okay, so you get your X to A. So we have X to A, A to B, B to C, D point completion at 886 you're looking at a risk of about twenty six pips on that trade and the next pattern on the radar is a godly pattern now I draw my Gartley pattern is a bit different, but the general rules for the Gartley pattern you have X to A, A to B at the 618 level. Let's just change the color. And B to C, D point completion at the 786. That's the general rules when it comes to to Gartley's. Um, however, how I trade them, I'm looking for that 127 full expansion that comes into. comes straight at uh, 0173 now as you can see this gives us uh, a nice opportunity for us to pretty much capitalize on both these trades so again back to that if then thought process let's look at uh, the bullish the bearish bet and look at targets uh, you're looking at target ones coming in at the 382 giving us 33 pips so not bad when it comes to 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 risk to reward so let me just write that down just for review looking at 33 pips uh, our second targets coming in at 
S to another additional 22 pips giving us a combined score of 55 pips okay on our bearish uh, on our bearish bets let's just change the color forest green forest green mm -hmm. so yeah and then next will be our cartly pattern uh, let's do that let's look at first of all the risk on our godly looking at uh, risk okay of about uh, 23 pips and when you're looking at profits okay on our next so target one coming in at around 16 pips hence this is the reason why I don't like to trade godless your target ones aren't necessarily sufficient enough to cover risk but however uh, godlies do have a, a high completion point next target twos coming in at that 618 giving us an additional 11 pips combined uh, 27 pips so we have in essence looking at both of our uh, both of our of our patterns it will be up to you and your, your risk factor if the market goes into bearish territory and we hit uh, our lows we, we could look to get involved with the Gartley pattern if price shoots higher we could get involved in our bad pattern so basically that this puts us two steps ahead of the market and allows us to to be patient basically and see what the market gives us and how we handle each situation that's why in my trading I prefer harmonic patterns because it allows you to pretty much you know, have a it's more like a turnkey system where you do your analysis you do your prep work and it's up to the market just up to you to see where the market goes and how you react to it not that <clears throat> the other way around where you find that you are emotional and not sure what you're doing and when you're executing your trades you are in a fumble or you're not really sure why you took that trade and in essence as well trading harmonic patterns allows you to review your trades uh, uh, in a manner which is highly efficient which also allows you when you're doing your back testing to see uh, the profitability of each particular pattern the rule sets you will have set and implemented which allows you to pull that powerful uh, uh, trading plan which essence uh, is another element of, the, of what I call the three pillars of a successful trader which the last aspect is a uh, trade plan development now with harmonic patterns it allows you to do that to, to, to see the expectancy and pretty much to be in I would say a comfort zone when it comes to risk and how much risk you take is up to you and how profitable uh, uh, that particular pattern in that again in that particular environment because you might find that you would read and you'd find that in a particular uh, 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 currency paid has been successful however key point to note is your back testing in your back testing you need to always make sure that you back test your results reflect 
the time that you will be available to trade and is that time that you'll be available to trade uh, would you be ready to be there on in your desk each and every day to trade those particular setups which is important and this is what most traders miss is that many traders when they back test they back test 24 hours the, 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 the 24 hour period and they uh, calculate the expectancy of a particular harmonic pattern which in essence that isn't a true reflection okay of your results because you would be only available at certain times to trade so you need to match uh, the proficiency of that particular harmonic pattern as well as when you be readily available Monday to Friday or whenever your schedule allows you to trade so with that um, plan your trade trade your plan cheers